Right now, we're right now, we're gonna we're gonna be looking at some scary videos. I post new ones every day at 2.30 p.m. California time, so get here as soon as I post and I'll respond to your comments. And yeah, comment down below your favorite animal. Let me know. Illegal! <gasps> Okay, that's scary. Run, Grandma! Get out of there! She runs pretty fast. Good for you. He just came at me. Oh my God. I don't know what that was. Oh, I know what it was. It was Hobo the Clown. This dude's not playing around. He looks hungry, and you look like a piece of meat. I'm sorry, but the scariest one is if you're in a corn maze, and then that just pops out. Are you kidding me? It's over, man. I don't know how this dude didn't trip. The dude in the front, he kept running. Good for you, man. Good for you staying on your feet. Most people, they would have tripped and fell on their face. But you got these dang creepy clowns just coming out of corn mazes. It's crazy. Not today, man. I bet you I'm staying my butt in the car. <laughs> I'll wait until you're done. This is one of the most mysterious things that has ever happened in the abandoned town of Stonebrook. What, yo sweater? <laughs> Sorry. Stonebrook was this town that was historically really dependent on mining, but once that industry kind of got up and left, almost 100% of the town's population followed. But there were still security cameras that were left over. CCTV cameras that were left over from the late 90s started to capture and transmit what appeared to be a single person who was living in that town. And what's really eerie about this footage is that they're mostly seen alone, but they're just kind of standing there. They're not really doing anything or looking anywhere. But eventually those cameras started to transmit to people, and the footage just got eerier because I don't even know how to explain the context of a photo like this. Still, all of this footage is very far away, right? We never really got a close-up shot of that original person until we got this in 2001. This added to the haunting Ooh. collection of footage of the unknown person in that town. To this day, the lone resident of Stonebrook kind of remains this haunting relic of a forgotten city. It's Michael Jackson! <laughs> Oh my god, okay, that would be terrifying. If that's the only thing you see, you see like just a person with no face and a bad wig wearing a dang suit at night outside. Okay, you know what? I don't know what this person's problem is. Like, why are you just standing there? Like, what do you want besides our soul? Sorry, man, we all ran out of souls. You're gonna have to order something else. Ice cream machine broke. <laughs> Hey. But yeah, I don't know where the city is. It's just like, you know, just blow it up, all right, man? Just call it a day. There are abandoned cities out there. Like, like, I don't know. We need somebody to just clean them up. Clean them up and build something else, man. Don't just leave them. It's your fault, man. You at the bottom. We blaming you. Creepy images caught in the background of photos. Bro, what are you doing in that hole? Oh! <gasps> well, you're screwed. Dang Pennywise waiting for you. <laughs> Aw, nice little family photo. Everybody's nice and happy. You guys look so happy. Ugh, grandma? Oh, heck no. <laughs> Not today. Dang, back in the olden days, uh, nobody smiled for photos. They were just... They're just there to document. You guys are supposed to be happy. Like, you know, give me something. Look at this girl at the bottom right. Girl, you look like you just got grounded. <laughs> You probably did. You know you messed up. You did something wrong. I don't know what it is, but like you forgot to pour me orange juice or something. I don't know. You did something. Anyway, your cabin's haunted. You guys might want to um, <clears throat> get that taken care of. I know a guy. I know two guys who can maybe help you out. In all seriousness though, how many kids y'all got? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the demon in the background. Man, that's sad. I think it's time for y'all to... Uh, to skip town. What I'm about to show you is the photo Katrina Whaling captured on her ring camera the other night. Ew. So Katrina lives alone down a long country road in West Texas. And three nights ago, she invited a friend over for dinner at 7 p.m. But seven rolls around and her friend's not there. And then eight rolls around and her friend is still not there. And that's when Katrina starts to hear footsteps outside, slow at first, but then it starts to sound like someone is running full speed at her house. Thinking it's her friend, she goes to open the door, but no one is there. So Katrina calls her friend, but then when the other line picks up, it's just heavy breathing. And then laughing. She's really freaked out now, so she runs upstairs, but that's when she gets the notification that someone is at her front door. And this was that someone. Katrina is still alive to tell the tale, but there's been an uptick in Reddit users complaining in West Texas of hearing someone outside and then answering the door to see no one is there.
Are you serious, man? Okay, you know, I'm not going to West Texas. <laughs> Never again. There's people who ring the doorbell or you hear somebody at the front door and you open it and nobody's there. It's a clue. It's a hint to get out of town, man. Jeez. It's not worth it, man. I don't care how good the gas prices are. <laughs> I don't care if gasoline is $1.75 a gallon. Matter of fact, I'll go to Afghanistan before that. This girl, she keeps trying to flirt with me. Like, look at this. She's staring right at my ding dong. I mean, girl, you can't do this. Okay, don't you know I'm in a relation Relationship forgot my ring. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll get that taken care of. Oh, jeez What is this? Bro, this is your closet where are your clothes? I don't think it's healthy for you to have all these creepy dang dolls up in here. Now available, uh, thanks for the offer, but uh, I'm gonna have to politely decline. Oh, it's all fun and games until one of these dolls start moving and then you find them on the other side of the room and you gotta wonder, wait, did I leave them right there? No, you didn't. Really, the nun, you got ghost face, you got ugh, the girl from the exorcist, pumpkin head, and Chucky with his good guy cereal. I bet there's barely any sugar up in there. There. Uh. Let's see if you have trypanophobia. I'm going to show you five photos. Try your best to make it through all five. If you can't, then you could have trypanophobia. Let's start the test. First one. Uh. Next one. Feeling uneasy? Yeah. Don't dip into the comments. Last one. <gasps> Did you make it through all five? Yes. If you couldn't, then you may have trypanophobia, which is the fear of needles. Yeah, I don't think I have like a fear of the needle, but it's just like, I don't like to look at them. That's all. I'm just, I don't want to see the, ugh. If I have to get a shot or something, I'm just like, just turn away, don't look. It's okay, I'm not gonna make you guys stare at this person getting a shot. We'll stare at this man. And you know what? I think the needle was better. <laughs> Sorry. Your nose is too big, Grandma. Oh, you want an apple? No. Apples, I think to poison all the children in the world. <laughs> Girl, you laugh like you won the lottery, but you look like you lost the lottery. <laughs> Sorry, you really do look like you lost the lottery, so um <clears throat> we don't want your crusty apple. Ew, that thing looks old. Older than you. How'd you get in this house? Who let you in? I think somebody was trying to be nice because it's Christmas or <laughs> something. They're trying to do something good. So we let you in and this is how you treat our house. You clearly forgot to take your medication. Alright, you look like you need to lay down. <laughs> Offering us apples. Girl, you better offer me a cheeseburger. Thank you. Hold the lettuce. This security guard was caught with reptilian eyes on live TV. Check it out. Oh. Um. Better just mind your business. I didn't see nothing. There's a huge conspiracy theory out there that reptilians are actually among us. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. They probably are among us. There's probably a bunch of aliens are over here. You could be one of them. I could be one of them. Am I an alien? Tell me the truth. What if we just didn't know that we were alien? Like, I, I don't know. If anybody's an alien, it's definitely this girl. You little too wide-eyed. There's something about you. I just don't trust you. I know you up to something. Wearing plain gray sweaters. I mean, come on. <laughs> You can do better than that. I swear, girl, don't make me cut your hair. I'll do it. I'll get the scissors. I'll get the hair clippers, okay? Times when amusement rides went too far. Um. King Kong! Oh. Yeah, that's just. Ugh. No, yeah, no. I. Mm -mm, nope. I wouldn't go on any of these. Why is it that high? Oh, heck no, nah, player. I mean, I guess I'd rather go on the King Kong one because that one looks a little safer, but like still. Curious George doesn't look too happy, man. He's angry about something. What's wrong? Did somebody steal your banana? <laughs> they probably did. Yeah, they probably did. Come on, Donkey Kong. You got to calm down, man. Quit taking your anger out on other people, all right? You need to deal with your own insecurities. If you are mad, it is because you are not happy with yourself. So you must look within yourself to find yourself, your true self. 
Something like that, I don't know, man. Otherwise, we're gonna shoot you with the tranquilizer and then, you know, then it'll calm down. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one. Peace.